time to crack this egg wide open and see what's inside here. Ah, shit. I've already screwed that up. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't use power tools here. Interesting. So they've already been removing some of these plugs, but these are completely stripped out and I'm unable to remove a lot of these. Now, here's the thing. They use extremely soft materials. This box is very soft, lightweight aluminum. They wanted to keep the weight of this thing very, very low. And that's the reason that they did that. But it actually annoys me because most people are gonna strip every single screw as I am when removing this. These guys actually remind me more of cyclists. Like they're called weight weenies, but they're so concerned with the weight that a lot of times they overlook durability. I was concerned about moving this battery sideways, but it seems to be fine. Plastic bit out. Right. Guess I'm gonna have to drill those out. like an egg and here's the electronics and stuff. Now, oh yeah, so as you pull up, you have cables here. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get shot and killed here. So, okay. So we have this cable to disconnect. release of some kind. It's not releasing. I don't know what the hell I'm looking at. I'm able to slide this cover up. And that's the sides. And now these uh, little plasticky things are just everywhere. We should look at the battery. This is, I think, just held on by by glue and there we go. Yeah. So that's one side. This side that's got this bend. This might be the, I guess, the balancer. So we're going to disconnect this. I guess this is the way it would balance the cells. You know, for some reason, zero put this in kind of like a weird drywall screw thing. And you have to hold this in while and screw this in order just to remove this. You can't remove it, this pin, without this. And same thing with this screw. It just holds this little bit here. So you have to kind of hold this here come around the side it just seems like yeah maybe that's probably not a good use of your time here 
stuck on with like a little bit of glue. It looks like some sort of alarm. 10 F. And there we go. This controller you cannot remove because there are these screws that you would have to, I guess, tap it out or something. They're right through this. They're not 1860 batteries, but here's the terminals and all of these wires that I have no idea what they do. And they connect using this very large connector. So that's the, this, these are the negatives right here. And no, no, this is the negative right here. And then the positive goes to the other side. Voltmeter on here, I have on the, this is the negative or the uh, positive is here. I should put this here. And I have this on the positive, uh, the negative here. And I have 18.3. So I believe this is supposed to be 49 volts. So this is not good for anything. We have R0 here. And um, there is a, a little bit of a reality kind of sinking in. Even, I got, even though I got this bike free, I'm actually at a loss of about $200. That's how much I spent on gas getting it. But the, um, the bike itself is interesting. The frame is cool, but um, this feels almost like a electric bicycle rather than a motorcycle. The motor is large. I don't know if the motor is good. And the problem is you have to use the BMS that comes with the zero effects in order for it to work, to even power on the bike. So I'm hoping that somehow I can balance these things, but let's um, start disassembling this thing. Just zip ties here. We're gonna remove all of this. This kind of just looks like an inner tube, but it's lined with this. We'll keep that for later. Let's move this box over and do the exact same thing here. We don't want anything to touch. The battery's dead, so it's not like we might get shocked with a little bit, but not too much. So blue wires, white wires. Oh my God, it's such a mess of wires. But if you look in the connector, you can follow the positive. And right here, this is the positive. The positive also has got the, this, which I assume is a fuse. And this is the negative. So I just follow the negative to here. I think it's just a chunk of plastic. Yeah, so this is just a chunk of plastic. And we can cut these zip ties all up. This looks like it was like 3D printed or something. Anything more than I have to. So let's uh, keep taking this out. Right there. Is this coming out yet? Nope. is doing I think this is the better better battery management system wire it is just the battery management I mean this is the kind of stuff you get at advanced auto parts and it's kind of looped if you if you notice it goes all the way down there so this cable loops all the way they just kind of did a thing just kind of So, starting to get to one of the cells, and there's one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, we have seven of these. Nothing. Nothing. So, you guys know, in comparison, this is what's called an 18650 cell. And these I got from, like, laptops and stuff. So I can take a reading from here, 3.78. Most of these are 3.6 volts. 
So I use these for little projects here and there. And if you look at the size, just look how things have progressed over time. These, I mean, it's, this is much heavier, less energy in it. And this one is much lighter, smaller. So I don't know if I'm able to build a battery pack with this. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So this one's kind of good. I don't think I can charge it. So I'm gonna just keep checking all of these batteries. Hopefully we're gonna figure something out here. These are just like completely falling apart here. And these are, are the negatives here. Right there. Look at this battery. Now you might be asking, what is wrong with this zero? Why isn't it powering up? That might be one of the reasons, right? I don't know. Oh, this is the zero battery pack. It's in terrible shape, lots of issues with it. I mean, just look at this thing, all corroded. But each one of these cells is dead. I'm getting 0 0.03 volts. This 18650 cell, that's 3.7 volts, 3.6 volts. So I'm wondering if I could build or buy a battery pack like this and just use the BMS from the zero onto it. But the BMS is very weird. It's um, the way they manage this is like they looped it through here, but it didn't connect anywhere. So I don't know how the hell they, they got that to work, but it seems that I'll be throwing this thing out. If any of you watching want this battery pack, post up in the comments below. I'm in the Washington DC area, so yeah, it's free. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted on the progress of the zero. Thanks for watching.